Thanks for joining me in this uh, very brief business talk where we examine some of the fundamental aspects of what actually makes a business work. Now, the secret to a successful business is no secret. It is a business that finds it easier to find new customers and finds it difficult to lose its existing customers. If it succeeds in that, basically, it continues to grow its market share. It gets a bigger and bigger share of the pie and it also finds new customers all the time. So it's growing its um, income and its resources at a lower cost. It's difficult for a business to do that. It's difficult because most of the time we commoditify what we do, we make ourselves follow a competition, we become indistinguishable from everybody else around us. We give very little reason to our customers to become truly our customers beyond convenience and price and sometimes proximity, which comes under the label of convenience. I know that you know that we all live in the same world. We all experience the same pressures on business. Operating costs are going up. Customers are more difficult to satisfy. Just doing business is becoming harder because of the complexities around us. It's becoming almost impossible to foresee the future. Yet, despite all these difficulties, despite all this perceptual complexity, all these problems, the fundamentals of doing business have never changed. What does a business need to do? It needs to succeed. It needs to provide an adequate and as immediate as possible solution to a problem. But suppose in this different world, in this difficult world, we do things a little bit differently by thinking differently about how we do business. Suppose a business does a little bit more than that. So instead of just providing an immediate and accessible solution to a problem at a good cost, obviously, to the customer, suppose it attempts to provide as complete a solution to their problem and their need as possible. And I'm going to give you two examples on this to, to show you how this can be done. Suppose an off-road bicycle shop sells off-road bikes, but it doesn't do just that. It also gives complete, unfettered, total access to bicycle routes off-road in the vicinity, bicycle routes off-road around the world, tips and tricks on how to make your off-road experience better, perhaps even access to communities in different parts of the world. Let's go to another business, one that sells bread makers. We buy a bread maker, we probably need to make different types of bread, different types of dough. But suppose it also gives us different recipes, access, without having to buy something, unfettered access. Suppose it gives us tips and tricks on how to make our bread making rise <laughs> to different levels, different heights making the experience deeper and better. Now that approach is more holistic. It shows that the business does more than just sell a solution, it actually cares about its customer experience. Yes, there is a cost to that, a hidden cost that the business must engage in. But then there's a hidden cost or a not so hidden cost to everything. If you advertise, it's a cost. If you pour money in training customer service, that's a cost. So by going that extra mile and making it part of your DNA as a business, you're making it easier to retain the customers you have and to find new ones at a lower cost to you. And if you do that, then your business is more likely to succeed. But more than that, it becomes a more fulfilling experience for you as a business person. It becomes a more fulfilling experience for your customers. And that changes pretty much everything. And that's worth trying. I hope this helps. I hope this gives you the um, willingness to rethink some of the things which you're doing if you're not going down that path and find new ways of basically becoming that unique, amazing business people love doing business with. Let me know in the comments below how you found this. Take care of yourselves. Until next time.